video reference for battery compatibility with the DeWalt battery chargers for the lithium ion batteries. This is basically going to serve as your reference on what these chargers do and how well they can do it. Basically, if it's a black charger like this, it's universal to all of the batteries. And what that gets determined by is the amperage of the battery charger, the shape of the docking cradles which can adapt between the different types of batteries and to some degree the positioning of the pins but whether it's a 12 volt to 20 volt or the flex volt 60 or 20 volt batteries the docking pins are all in the same places but the high capacity 8 amp charger which is basically made to run the larger batteries is not going to accept the the small 12 volt batteries, even if it's the high capacity 12 volt batteries, will not accept it. That has to do with the shape of the plastic tabs on these things. Even though all of the uh, electrical connections are in the same places, the tabs are what determine what batteries are going to fit in which tool. So the 20 volt is relatively universal, the 60 volt is 100% is universal, 12 volt batteries are specific to the 12 volt tools and when you get some of the higher capacity flex volt tools that require the 60 volt batteries you won't be able to snap a 20 volt battery into position on those tools you can universally use your flex volt batteries with any charger so for example if you have the car charger you could use it with a car charger it just takes a long time to charge up when you look at the physical size on the charters, that is part of an indicator. This one is what typically is going to come with the 12 volt battery kits, uh, the tool kits, stuff like that. It's physically smaller than the others. It's a 2 amp battery charger. This one is a 4 amp battery charger. This is the 8 amp battery charger. The blinking lights and everything work about the same way. Basically, when a light goes solid, you're fully charged. If it's blinking, it needs a charge. If it's blinking really fast, you probably have some sort of a problem. Little guides are right here on the things. Basically, if the battery is overheated, it goes through a little delay mechanism before it starts charging the battery in order to preserve the lifespan of the battery. One of the things that I found is that the math on which battery chargers are going to work better with um, which batteries, it's not quite cut and dry. Okay, so like your 8 amp battery charger seems to be taking a little bit over, uh, a little longer to bring up a flex volt battery. And the 4 amp battery charger is not twice as fast as a 2 amp battery charger. So even though it's 2, 4, 8, there's a little fudge factor on how long one is going to take to bring a battery up. And I find that for storage in a shop, the 2 amp battery charger is just fine to keep things uh, topped off. If you have enough to go around, it's not going to be an issue. If you are using a FlexVolt tools as a true replacement for corded power tools, you're definitely going to want to keep the high capacity charger handy. Just be aware that it has an internal cooling fan and moving parts inside so you've got to keep it away from the sawdust, keep it away from the water. It's much more critical with a high capacity battery charger than it is with a low capacity battery charger. It's also more critical if you're going to be plugging the chargers into an inverter, for example, you don't have the 12 volt battery charger or the car charger. That becomes a little more critical on a higher capacity um, charger. It's not going to matter much to the battery. Okay, the, the internal voltage regulation on the batteries, that's not going to matter to the battery. So, if you want to charge your flex volt batteries off a card charger, that's, that's really not a problem. The default voltage on a flex volt is actually 20 volt. Okay, it charges at 20 volts, and then what happens is there's a mechanical switch in the battery which is kicked down when you plug it into certain power tools. That's basically what happens. And a little mechanical switch takes your three banks of uh, batteries inside of it and runs them in series instead of parallel. So for example, the 6 amp hour battery is three sets of 2 amp hour 20 volt 
inside the battery running in parallel by default but when it's snapped into a flex volt 60 volt tool it then runs those three banks in series giving you 60 volts the amperage actually whether it changes or not is kind of a fudge factor on that when you're talking about airline flight regulations as long as you have the little plastic cover on this thing then it's supposed to be flyable is, is basically what they tell us anyway if you have any questions put them in the comment section below uh, subscribe hit like if you want to keep updated on this stuff and you can look at my other videos and video reviews on the DeWalt and Ryobi product lines plus a few others out there that I've purchased personally and done comparison videos with.